everyone it's a new day and coin monk is here with another set of latest updates so let's start today's bulletin with the major headlines of the day japan urges crypto exchanges to comply with russian sanctions india's metaverse firm iconix gets funding from mark zuckerberg pixel nft drops sell out on vv shortly after launch ukraine receives military supplies via crypto donations so without any further ado let's begin with a refresh feed starting with an update from japan Following G7 pledges to tighten crypto sanctions, Japan's Financial Service Agency and Ministry of Finance jointly announced penalties on cryptocurrency exchanges. This penalty on the crypto exchanges will not comply with sanctions imposed on Russia. Let's have a look at what they're up to. Cryptocurrency exchanges that make unauthorized payment to sanctioned targets including cryptocurrencies could face up to 3 years in prison. They can even face a fine of 1 million yen, approximately $8,487. If cryptocurrency exchanges discover suspected transfers from sanctioned targets they must notify the financial service agency major cryptocurrency exchanges such as coinbase binance karakin on the other hand will not remove all russian addresses singapore based exchange crypto.com added russian to its list of supported languages on march 3rd according to an industry associate there were 31 crypto exchanges in japan given the new market's popularity global regulators are concerned about its safety for investors The possibility of market manipulation was cited by the Security and Exchange Commission. It was cited as one of the primary reasons for rejecting several applications of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds. With that being said, let's check our next update. It's coming from India itself. Indian actor Rana Daggubati, famous for his role in Bahubali, started Venture Icons, a wealth building platform. His startup has already received funding from ventures like Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and Jeff Bezos. Let's have a look at what exactly happened. Icons was launched in August 2021. This platform allows one to manage their digital assets, monetize virtual IPs and NFT across all metaverses. The organization is led by the founder Abhinav Kalindidi and co-founders Prasad Vangya and Nana Daggubati. The actor is on cloud 9. He is an IPO owner and finds blockchain full of potential to bring in incredible opportunities. His firm has already joined hand with biggest IPs of India like Amar Chitra Katha, Tinkle, and Suresh Productions. In an interview, Rana said that a world-class blockchain aggregation company is the best way I and other IP owners could have found to start managing and monetizing IP assets on a global stage in multiple formats: BNFTs, Avatars, or even basic right management. While talking about his dream venture, well, without any further ado, let's quickly have a look at our next coverage. Crypto enthusiasts acquired all 54,995 pieces of the Disney Pixar Pals non-fungible tokens or NFTs collection within 24 hours of its introduction on digital collectibles marketplace VV. Sheriff Woody, Mike Wazowski, Lightning McQueen, the house from UP and Edna Mode were among Pixar Animation Studio characters included in the drop. Users bought NFT from a blind box, which means they got a random item as a part of series and didn't know which one until after they paid. This is quite interesting. I mean, we grew up watching these characters, and let's dive a little deeper into this one. Each Pixar NFT has a list price of sixty cents, that is dollar sixty. The NFT collection is believed to have sold for dollar three point three million by multiplying the collection sale price by the reported gem price. On the secondary market, goods from the Pixar drop are selling for up to three fifty cents at the time of publication. On Go Chain, VV NFTs are now being coined. The blockchain creator says that this is quick, ecologically benign, and fully compatible with Ethereum. Gems are VV's in-app tokens that can be exchanged for digital assets at one is to one ratio to US dollar. The capacity to change diamond back into fiat currency, on the other hand, is being tested. This is due to a present incentive associated with owning OMI tokens, which are generated by VV's parent company Ecomi. When gems are spent to buy an NFT, the same amount of OMI is borne from the token supplier, and the digital collectible is transferred to the user's account. As a result, OMI can be converted into diamonds, but not the other way around. Owing to the concerns that doing so would devalue the former. So ending up with the final coverage for today, Ukraine's Deputy Minister of Digital Transformations, Alex Bornyakov, has itemized how much of the more than hundred million dollars in donation money has been utilized so far. Bornyakov recently told Bloomberg that he has spent up to dollar fifteen million for protective jackets, five hundred helmets, as many as four lakh ten thousand lunch bags for the Ukrainian army. The majority of these goods arrived on Friday. The total donations to the Ukrainian war effort came in the form of Bitcoin, Ethereum, 
Polkadot, Solana, and Dogecoin. Aside from conventional cryptocurrencies, the Ukrainian government has received a variety of non-fungible tokens, including a Moon Ape Yacht Club. According to the article, some of the military supplies acquired by the Ukrainian government were paid for in digital currencies, demonstrating the use of cryptocurrencies, with more crypto crash teeming into the Ukrainian government's wallet. The decentralized and censorship-free nature of digital currency became more apparent throughout the battle. So we'll round up our analysis for today and see you all tomorrow with even more exciting content. In the meantime, you can leave us comments with any recommendations or opinions that you might have. You can also join our Telegram channel for free crypto alert. For instructions, reviews and tutorials, you may visit our blog, which is linked right below. Also subscribe to the channel to receive daily crypto market updates. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day ahead.